When you think of famous structures around the world, the one that is most likely to top the list is the Eiffel Tower, situated in Paris, France. The tower is the most visited paid monument in the world, and standing at 300 meters, was the tallest man-made structure in the world for over 40 years until its crown was taken by the Chrysler Building in 1930. The origins of the tower come from the 1889 World's Fair, which was held in Paris, and the tower takes its name from French civil engineer Gustave Eiffel. However, the tower's main structure was designed by Maurice Coquelin and Emilia Nugier, who were engineers who were working under Eiffel at the time. Both Coquelin and Nugier initially discussed ideas for the centrepiece of the 1889 World's Fair. Coquelin described a great pylon consisting of four lattice girders standing apart at the base and coming together at the top, joined together by metal trusses at regular intervals. Initially Eiffel showed little enthusiasm to the idea of building the tower, but allowed for further studies to be carried out on the design. The design then included decorative arches at the base, a glass pavilion on the first level, and a cupola at the top of the tower, in which Eiffel then gave his support. A competition was run by the organisers of the fair to select the design for the centrepiece, in which Eiffel subsequently won. Construction of the tower started with the foundations on the 28th of January 1887. The close proximity of the River Seine to the location of the tower meant there would be different design considerations for the foundations. The east and south legs of the tower would sit on concrete slabs of 2 metres in depth. However, with the north and west legs being closer to the river, this meant they would sit on concrete slabs of 6 metres in depth and also required two piles for each slab 22 metres into the ground. The Eiffel Tower was essentially a prefabricated structure with all the tower's 18,083 wrought iron parts being designed and produced off-site in a factory in the nearby suburb of Le Vervois Pere. They would then be transported to the site by horse-drawn carts, where it would then be assembled together using 2.5 million rivets. Construction of the four legs started off in December 1887 and all four would be joined together by March of 1888. This was done by using timber scaffolding and creeper cranes, which would be used to help transport the metalwork skywards as construction progressed. The entire structure was completed in March 1889, opening to the public in the same month. The tower was a roaring success, with 1.9 million people visiting the tower over the exhibition. Once the World Fair was over, it was anticipated that the tower would be taken down after the 20 year lease of the land which the tower stood on expired. The tower was spared due to the persistence of Eiffel, who stated its importance as a radio antenna and used for scientific experiments. From then on, the Eiffel Tower has become a symbol of both Paris and France, attracting over 250 million visitors and being the inspiration for over 50 towers around the world. The tower was an engineering triumph, illustrating the great heights structures could now rise to, which would in turn set the foundations for super tall structures in the 20th century. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more, please like the video and subscribe for future videos. Also, if you have any specific civil engineering projects you would like to know about, please mention them in the comments. This has been a civil conversation and I will see you in the next video.